Apex Legends. Over the last three years, hundreds of teams have competed to win millions of dollars. But time and time again, only one team has proven to be number one. TSM on the kill. They're going for the finish right now. As Snipe down is brought back into the game, he's only got an heirloom to work oh, with. Oh, the day, but no, it's Hell still alive. Hell what? is still alive. They're just a setback here for TSM. TSM wins. TSM wins. Are you kidding me? This is the story of TSM. The best team in Apex history. To tell TSM's story, it can be broken down into three eras, based on the core players that have competed for the team. So let's start at the beginning of Apex's launch, with TSM's first in-game leader, Philip Imperial Hal Dozer. Oh my beans, the 144 and 72. Incredible, getting those angles by Imperial Hal. Hal has seven kills to his name, and you know that the adrenaline is pumping. I'm then one. I am here, I am here. On your left, give me. Hal was trying to make it in the competitive gaming scene for quite some time before Apex's release. Previously, he was signed to Cloud9's professional H1Z1 roster until the league shut down on an extremely short notice. He even tried his hand at Fortnite, but it clearly wasn't a fit. Then, like, my fucking god! When he tried Apex for the first time, it was like the game was made for him. Oh my god! Oh my god. Yo, there's a Oh God. Oh God. His level of skill was noticed by organizations trying to get the early jump in Apex Esports. He was subsequently signed to TSM on March 6th, 2019, alongside Prodigy Aces and t Hump, who he had previously competed with in other games. Getting on a big org, especially like right off the bat in the game, it's like, it's perfect because you have like all the motivation and like confidence to, you know, do all your work that you have to do. However, it was not long after that T-Hump decided he was not enjoying Apex. IS THERE GUNS IN THIS GAME?! OH LOOK, IT'S THE GUY WHO'S BEEN CHASING ME THE WHOLE LOBBY! GIVE ME A GUN! Opening a spot for a small streamer, making waves in the Apex community as the best Pathfinder main in the game. Let's go. Mac Alberlady Beckwith came from dominating in the Call of Duty Blackout scene, and his talents in FPS games were quickly proving him to be one of the best players in Apex. He was number one in kills on Pathfinder, hitting 20,000 kills after only three months of the game being released, and after taking first place in one of the first Apex tournaments alongside HAL, it was solidified that TSM would sign him to their professional roster on June 10th, 2019. About two weeks later, Prodigy Aces decided to focus on competitive Fortnite, and that is when HAL recruited the third member of the original TSM trio, Jordan Reps Wolf. I never said a single word to Hal. I used to watch the stream before a little bit, not even 30 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. And I was like, this is the guy I want. I never played with Jordan before I picked him up or even talked to him. I just messaged Jordan like, hey, wanna join TSL? They're ulti, they're ulti, shoot the Valk! Got him, got him! I'm shitting on them, it's one more! Let's go! Oh. Let's fucking go! Hal approached me and he's like, yo, we're trying to find a new third. Uh, I was like, I'm in. I am in. <laughs> this was perfect timing, as the first major Apex LAN event was just around For the corner. For years, the X Games has created legendary moments that will be written in history and will forever be remembered. 60 players, 20 teams, but only one can walk away with the gold medal. Only one can be the Apex champion. The EXP Invitational Apex Legends begins right now. The X Games EXP Invitational. Yo. Teams got points based on placements and kills. The team with the most points after 12 matches had been completed takes the gold. And while for TSM... And from TSM. He needs to get the shield battery up in time. Is he able to do it though? In play, the, oh, what a shot from the wingman. Unbelievable. He's going for the snapshot on the long ball, but it ain't gonna happen. TSM gets the win. TSM still in this center position. They have been unmatched this whole Imagine time. Imagine if you're Imperial Hot right now. You gotta be feeling great. Your team, first within the standings. Your eliminations, you're sitting right at the top looking for that. Ready to get your gold, you're ready to get your money, and you're ready to get your Apex Predator. And here you can see just 
just how powerful Abrilene is. Out comes the Mastiff. There's no way you're going to be able to deal with that one. The Grim Reaper's coming for you. And there it is, the Mastiff around the corner looking to finish it off. The humanity of the situation. They wanted to go for it. They could have waited it out, but TSM, they have no mercy. And while in the final game they took second place, they managed to nudge out Team Reciprocity by five points to take the gold. During the post-game interview with Reps, he only had one thing to say. As the winners of the first professional tournament, what are you going to do now to look forward to Poland? Go for the first place there too. And they did just Let's do that. This. Here we go. This could be it. Two teams on match point here. MVP pushing in. Can they get this first knock? Doesn't come in. Ross has to stay alive. Very low HP for the race. It's going to be a big setback there, but MVP is not the one we're worried about. Is they're just a setback here for TSM. Who is going to do it? TSM, you're your champion. In the end, they win back to back Apex Legends tournaments. Your X Games winners and your winners of the Apex Legends preseason invitational. Reps, I stood next to you at the X Games in Minneapolis, Minnesota, with your arm around my waist, the same way that you're doing it right now. What do you think? Two time back to back. And for TSM, they were not done there. I cracked 100. Bam, bam, bam. I hit so many, I hit so many nades. I'm so many down. Quiddle. Good shit, let's, let's go. go. baby. Let's fucking go. The back to back to back. Three times. Woo! Three times, baby. <laughs> super low, I got two, I got two. <laughs> These guys on the left. I can stick you, you can go. No, 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 no. I stunned the two on the far. We got first, boys. We won by eight points. Oof. It's literally lightweight, bro. Back to back to back to back. <laughs> Four back to back tournament wins. TSM Apex was solidifying themselves as a dynasty and going on one of the greatest runs in esports history. And then again. I'm just throwing nades. Big nade, big nade, huge nade! Oh my fucking god! What? Let's go! The five time, baby! Dude, that fucking nade! I killed six people with that! Oh my god! My heart rate's 175. Over the first year of Apex tournaments, TSM was unstoppable. Their tournament success also provided streaming success, shooting all three of them to the top of the Apex Twitch charts. Daily, Hal was the number one Apex streamer, and in every tournament they competed in, hundreds of thousands of viewers would tune in just to watch Imperial Hal and Albert Lely's POV. Oh my god! Oh, you're you're fu Matt, you're fuck I'm gonna fucking kiss you! But when you're at the top, it's only so long that you can have those highs. Eventually will come some crushing I got the I got the top, 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 top. Dead. Great, great. Th yeah, I shields. Play shields. I died, bro. Fuck. This is weird. Oh. 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 After dropping the second two times, it seemed the competition was finally catching up, and TSM began to put up subpar performances. Oh, you saw that. Nowhere to play there. Tension began to rise, and it was clear that Albert Lely was not happy with Apex. Additionally, due to the pandemic, the state of competitive Apex was in jeopardy. All LAN events had been cancelled, and server issues during the online tournaments caused a lot of problems for pros while playing. The lack of solutions by Respawn and the many potential opportunities with Valorant's release saw many pros stepping away from Apex Competitive to pursue opportunities in a game backed by Riot known for League of Legends, the biggest esport in the world. One of these players was sadly Abrilene, who on October 2nd, 2020, announced he would be stepping down from competitive Apex to pursue a future in Valorant. Many pros showed their support for Alb's decision, wishing him the best. Abrilene then went on to clear up the rumors that he had a falling out with Hal and said that he has nothing but love for his former teammates. I literally have nothing against my old teammates. Absolutely nothing. There's no reason to. I literally had the best year of my life with those guys and nothing they could do would make me hate them. Fortunately for Hal, Reps, and TSM, one of the best fraggers in Apex, a former Halo professional, and a controller player with that sweet, sweet aim assist was looking for a team to sign with. Eric, Snipe Down Rona, became the newest member to the TSM squad on October 2nd, 2020. Snipe was known for his impeccable aim and quick aggression. He was previously a part of Team Reciprocity, the team that took second at the X Games Invitational. And he played with Rogue, one of the teams to dethrone TSM for the first time. Let's go, baby! Let's go! So it was only fitting that he joined TSM to rebuild the reign of the super team. Kenny clutched this one out. The Bloodhound scan goes through. Does he see the last person alive? 
It's a Cossack. It's a Cossack. He's going in with everything he's got here. The scout comes through and he clutches it. Snipedown also brought something different to the table. While most Apex Pro players were relatively new to the esports scene, Snipe had been competing since 2008 in Halo, a game that had created some of the best esports players in history. With a veteran perspective and coming from a scene known for its trash talk and banter, Snipe was able to handle Hal's competitive personality and vocal nature. What are you? Are you looting? Like, what? what? No, I'm not. Shut the fuck up, bro. What are you saying shit before you fucking have any idea what happened? I'm literally tired of Fans that. Fans were loving this Give squad, and the chemistry between this trio created for some of the best moments of TSM Apex. <laughs> <laughs> Give the us a little stab. bit more. Give we, us a little bit. Burning, bro. Burning down like. My tongue. It's so bad right now. Sorry, who was bagging my box in fucking GLL? I'm Yo, to give, give him it! <laughs> Hold on, so drop your nuts, Snipe. Drop him in his mouth. We'd <laughs> be winning by a fucking mile right now. We should be fucking dudes. We should literally. We should be fucking dudes! Snipe down says emphatically. To no surprise, over the course of the Apex Legends Global Series Year 1, TSM locked themselves in for a spot in the North American Championship with a $700,000 prize pool on the line. The biggest yet, with first place taking home a grand prize of $265,000. More than a year ago, these teams began the journey that would lead to this moment right now. Pulling in finals will follow the match point system. There is no limit to the amount of rounds that can be played. Once a team earns a total of 50 points, the next match becomes match point eligible for that team. The first team to win a match after they are match point eligible will be declared the 2021 ALGS champion. Come on, brother. Step up. Taking the second seeded spot in the group stages meant TSM had a nine point advantage to start the finals. And in the TSM way, they dominated. I can all, we can go if we want to pound this. Right here, right here, come to me right here. There's a guy inside the, the building, guy inside the building. This guy's alone. I got him, I got a plate. I'm one shot, you gotta bow me. I'm burning, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Got him. Nice. Go. I had a mobile. I had a mobile. Okay, I, I'm gonna try to go for it. Okay, okay. I'm sticking it. I'm sticking it. Watch the front door. Down, Caustic. Oh my god. Then we're gonna be alive. Snipe down is still up as well. How with the kill. Snipe down play me, play me, play me, play me. He's only got an heirloom to work with, but Snipe down still trying to do what he can do. He got two kills with the heirloom, but he's gonna go down, and the rest of TSM is all down. The red goes off. Oh, nice, nice, stay alive, stay alive. You're insane. Oh, no fucking way. No fucking way. You're insane. Holy what shit. The Oh my god! Oh my god, Jordan just won like, that. Next time, we, next time we do fuck, that. Fuck! There's no way Jordan just won Did that. You see that? Holy that? shit! Yeah, Jordan just won that with one HP and a one V four. Good job, Jordan! Holy shit! Fucking bro. Holy shit! We, we're 49, bro. We're at 49. We need one point for a match point. Fucking insane. With 17 kills, the revive on snipe down, and the insane 1 HP clutch by reps, this has become the most legendary Apex competitive win in history. This allowed TSM to be the first team on match point for the championship, but opposing teams were making it difficult for TSM to close the series out until game eight of the ALGS finals. Fight potentially for the win here. Sentinels though, can play spoiler. This is what competitive Apex Legends is all about. Act is gonna go down. Oh. Cloud9 down to two members. Zach Mazer flying and soaring through the sky, but Cloud9 is out. TSM oh. versus Sentinels for the championship. It all comes down to this. This could be it. TSM, like we said, turn the heat up to 12. Can they do it? TSM Imperial How is the EVA A for the victory. Oh. Sentinels! Oh, they stop it. In a devastating game. blow, TSM dropped their best chance to win the year one ALGS championship. That was our game right there, bro. The next game, Team Kungurna won their first game on match point, creating a major upset and taking first overall. They're 
Go, 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 I should have gotten this at least Fast a second. forward Good into job. the start of ALGS year two, Apex Pro League was looking prosperous. Respawn established a new official league format. There was more money than ever before up for grabs, and there was a strong potential for LAN to finally return. After a six week regular season, the top 20 teams would compete for a $250,000 prize pool at the split one playoffs. TSM's performance out the gate wasn't outstanding by any means. And after the year one championship, the meta started to shift to Congerna's Valkyrie focused composition, something TSM wasn't used to. Leading up to playoffs, many fans and other pro players were starting to think that TSM was falling off. However, there was a much bigger issue at hand. The upcoming release of Halo Infinite. As it's in his blood, rumors began that Snipedown was planning on leaving competitive Apex to return to Halo. They, they were originally teaming with Snipedown. Mm. And then I guess Snipedown told them that he did wanted, wanted to play Apex, so that's why they had a slot open. And then I guess he decided he wanted to play Halo again. During the week five matches of the Split One Pro League, it was confirmed that this would be Snipedown's final week in competing with TSM. Many came to love this trio, and not just for the performance, but for the clear brotherhood that the three had established. Overall, though, support from the community poured out for Snipe's decision, and everyone was really excited to see a legend return to his main game. We're gonna be sixth or some shit after everything, I think. Everybody, it's been a pleasure. Thank you guys for watching. All right, I'm back. My stream is yeah, off. Thank you guys. Off. I'll uh, be streaming uh, sometime soon, probably tomorrow. Hal and reps needed to work extremely quick to find a third. There was only one week left of Pro League and a month until playoffs started. And well, they made a very calculated decision. Team Esports Arena, or ESA for short, was comprised of Skittle Cakes, Duplex, and Verholst. They had been making a name for themselves by dominating in smaller community tournaments. After securing their spot in Pro League by winning the first preseason qualifier, seemingly out of nowhere, ESA took over Pro League. ESA's Valkyrie player, Evan Verholst, ended up on Hal's radar when Hal invited him to play ranked one night, coincidentally the same week that Hal, Reps, and TSM became aware of Snipedown's decision. Nice. Let's go, Reps. Good fucking job, bro. I have enough for you. Nice. Oh my god, you're the go, best boys. player. <laughs> Dude, I, I missed oh one god. and headshot the one in the back on accident. <laughs> it made sense for TSM. Verhulst was one of the best Valkyrie players in the game, and he was ESA's top fragger. Poaching him would put them at a disadvantage going into playoffs. Makes me so happy thinking that Verhulst would potentially join TSM, because TSM would be a worse team out of the gate, and Esports Arena would be a worse team, and those are two teams that are in the top five NA right now. And in less than a week, it was confirmed that Verhulst would be TSM's third as he competed with them in the last week of Split One Pro League. Unlike with Snipedown and Albulaley, however, the three didn't immediately click together. TSM continued to have struggles while practicing for the upcoming playoff tournament. Evan, man, like... knock one, knock one. Oh my god, he's on my rage. Evan, uh. you, you, you need to watch that, bro. I, just, I don't know why, why are you leaving that? So, like, these guys just walk up and now we're dead. I don't know, that's stupid. Watch Double headshot, I'm dead as own. I got tethered, man. What? I got tethered on the way in. How are you, oh, like, even back there? What's Everyone that? thought that this was it. There. So many lost hope in TSM and weren't even considering them to finish top three in the biggest tournament to start 2022. Someone looted my building. What? The full Bro. team. Is it a full team? 
there's this third play style that TSM has established. It's where you land frag east and you have white armors and blue armors and shitty loot. And instead of playing zone and rotating early or playing edge, they do a third thing that's called playing brain dead. And it, it's really a pioneering play style. Uh, very inspiring, personally. Why they do it, I will never know. Somehow the Apex community forgot about all their triumphs. Their battles to remain at the top and wrote them off as quote unquote washed. And the worst thing you could do in any sport is give someone a reason to prove themselves. Especially when that someone right. is the yes, best team in Apex history. Nine more squads are all that stand between them and a playoff victory. There's been so much sentiment against TSM, so much hate that they have faced really. They're still trying to prove that they are the best team in Apex Legends. On another level right now, follow. They're looking to take the dump. They were already wiping got the shit. Match we're points. wiping this, this is shit. All they need. They're playing perfect. They're the only match point team remaining. Just so TSM the top, wins the in his game. Take port, take over port, take port. playoff over TSM Focus will be your champions. Here. Can they do it? The race portal from Hal is going to give them some superior. Three the men's left. They get the white. Oh, last team. Last team. Last team. Oh my God! This is a renegades. TSM three v three. Can TSM plus the three v three right now? The only match point team left right now with one other squad just one more fight to be your winners here within the playoffs for all 19 squads in this lobby to stop tsm the adversity tsm has faced this playoff snipe down retiring the pickup of verholz just a month and a half ago and now they are looking to cement themselves back at the top look at this positioning from tsm hal doing how things getting them angles soon. wide right kill this guy when he runs out of eggshell he's gonna have no cover I'm gonna have no cover too soon. I hit a buff! Look, 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 look! look. Someone's moving over the rock. Give me all that, give me all that, give me all that! Love that comm, 38 flesh. Push that in there! Your flesh, and that might be a shark seeing red. An opportunity right now to fly, but they're gonna play it patient. What goes down? I think, I think TSM wins this, yep. Push, push, push! I knocked one, I knocked one, I knocked one! They won, yes. dude! Holy oh, fuck! They won, they won, they won! They Push the bubble, push they the win, bubble, push win, the bubble! They win, they win, they win, they win, they win! 2v3 right now! Gibby all going down, bubble going down! Hal's gonna phase into the bubble! They're gonna push into the bubble right 3v2. now! 3v2! The Gibraltar going down! And it's gonna be the top! The all of them! here! TSM! This is it! TSM are your champions! Within the NBA playoffs! They just Fuck won this, dude. Go! Holy shit. Fuck all of you haters! Fuck all of you! <laughs> TSM is washed, eh? TSM is washed! Go, boys. Fucking go, oh my baby. god. Good shit. Good shit. <laughs> That's how we do it, bro. That's how we do it. Our calls Through battling a slump, together. all the troubles with changing metas, the emotional roller coaster of losing snipe down, and desperately having to find a new third within a month of playoffs, TSM towered above all the doubters, the haters, and showed the entire Apex community why you should never count them out. On that day, Imperial Hal and Reps reminded everyone that they were two of the best players in Apex, and alongside their new third Verholst, they were dedicated to maintain that crown as the best team in Apex Legends. If you enjoyed, please like the video and consider subscribing. It helps me out so much. Let me know of any of the Apex stories you want to hear, and I'll be sure to make them for you. I'm Jumba. This has been the story of TSM Apex. Thank you for watching.